Last night, billions around the globe watched on as the world's greatest business mind was crowned at a glittering ceremony. Greg Marston has more. That's right, Deanne. 4,000 business legends, celebrities, entertainers and political leaders from around the globe filed into the Hilton Hotel for a night of glamour, tension and high excitement. Today, this is the name on everyone's lips. Greg, were the experts expecting this result? Very much so, Deanne. I'm told this was the shortest priced winner in the award's 98-year history and the decision was unanimous. When you combine the marketing prowess of Richard Branson, the shrewdness of Donald Trump and the vision of Lee Kuan Yew, that's a pretty impressive package. Sarah Lockery, you're in Sydney, Australia this morning. What's been the reaction from the Harbour City? Deanne, what we've witnessed this morning has been nothing short of remarkable. As today's papers will attest, many pundits are labelling this passionate and brilliant achiever the greatest business mind of all time. Qantas Airways was certainly impressed. Within hours of the announcement, they surprised everyone by naming their latest A380 Airbus after this year's popular winner. The reaction from Asia has also been enthusiastic. Sharon Chen joins us live. Sharon, what's the latest? Deanne, a number of governments in the region have declared today a public holiday in honour of this truly awe-inspiring business visionary. These were the seeds earlier today as hundreds of thousands flooded the city streets to celebrate among the most vocal local youths. We need someone to look up to and emulate and I can't think of a better role model for our generation, yeah! Over at the National Stadium, a crowd estimated at more than 40,000 gathered to pay homage to the one, they say, embodies all that is good in the international business community. The announcement of this year's winner has had a powerful impact on leaders in the Middle East. Speculation is mounting. This year's world's greatest business mind will be putting their formidable negotiation skills honed across the boardroom table to work, brokering a long overdue peace deal. One businessman who has had close associations with this year's winner is the Message Group's executive chairman, Kim Ilman. When I heard the announcement on the radio this morning, I tell you I cried. I wept like a baby. I'm just so very proud to say that we at the Message Group have had an opportunity to work with this transformational business guru, this Spengali of innovation, this leader of leaders. Is this live? It is. Great. If you're watching, I'm your biggest fan.